Okay, the final vertical motion question uh, for rebounds comes from 2013. It's a higher level question and it's quite intricate or would have been quite intricate if it was the first time you saw such a question but we'll go through it bit by bit and hopefully it'll make some sense. Okay, just taking part one. Uh, a ball is dropped onto a table and it rises after impact to one quarter of the height of the fall and we're looking to find the coefficient of restitution between the ball and the table. So the ball will fall through a height, I'm going to call it h, then a rebound occurs and it rises to just a quarter of that height. So there are three sections, just like the ordinary level questions. We look at uh, when the object falls down, u is 0, v is the velocity before impact, a is 9.8 and so on, s is h and so on. Then there's a collision or a rebound, so we'll have e is equal to minus v over u. And then after that, the ball rises up, reaches a maximum height where it stops, and um, we will use the three sections there, the fall, the rebound, and the rising up, to calculate a value for the coefficient of restitution. So, uh, like I said, the second line there, v squared is equal to 0 plus 2gh. That's the formula you'd get in the falling section. So the velocity just before impact is root 2gh. A rebound occurs, so the velocity after the rebound will be e times the square root of 2gh. That would be the initial velocity in the rising section, so that's the third part. So that would be my u square there in the second last line. Uh, and the s that it travels upwards before it comes to rest is h over 4. And you can see there the v is equal to 0 because it reaches its maximum height. You solve that, you get e is equal to a half. That's fairly straightforward, almost identical to the uh, ordinary level questions. Let's move on to the rest of it. So the next paragraph if sheets of paper are placed on the table, the coefficient of restitution decreases by a factor proportional to the thickness of the paper. That's probably the most important sentence in the question because it tells you a relationship between the ratio of the coefficients of restitution, so that would be E over E, we'll say, and the thickness of the paper. So the ratio of the coefficients of restitution will be proportional to the thickness of the paper. To go from a proportionality to an equation, we can say that the ratio of the coefficients of restitution are equal to a constant times the thickness of the paper, and we'll use that later. Okay, so the next sentence. When the thickness of the paper is 2.5, it rises to only one-ninth of the height of the fall. Find the value of the coefficient of restitution between the ball and this thickness of paper, which should be fairly straightforward, and then we'll go on to part three in a moment. So, part two. Ball falls to a height h, strikes the table and there's a dotted line there representing the thick piece of paper and rises to h over 9. If you apply everything we did in the first part you get uh, e is equal to a third and that e there I've called it e subscript 1 to say that there's a bit of paper uh, between the ground and the ball bouncing. Okay so what next? Well to solve for part 3 we need to use the fact that the coefficient of restitution decreases by a factor proportional to the thickness of the paper. So the underlined section there. And what that means is E, my original coefficient of restitution, divided by E1 will equal a constant times the thickness of the paper. So I'm looking at everything I got for part 1 and part 2. The ratio of the two E's is proportional to the thickness. So that means to go from a proportionality to an equal to or an equation, we need a constant of proportionality, which is k. Now you can see there I've cross multiplied by the e1, so I would have had e over e1 is equal to k times 2.5 cross multiplied to give me that. I know what the e and the e1 are, so I'm applying that to the, the first part, which is a quarter of the height of the fall and the one ninth of the fall, and if I do that, it gives me a constant of proportionality. Okay, so we're not there yet. For part three, we're looking for what thickness of paper is required in order that the rebound will be 1 16th, the height of the fall. So we need to get the coefficient of restitution in that case. Uh, it'll work out as a quarter, we'll see. And then we'll use the same formula. E is equal to K times the thickness multiplied by, uh, I'm going to call it E2 for the second thickness of paper, uh, for the coefficient of restitution related to the second thickness of paper. All right, so... In this case, ball falls through a height h, rebounds up to h over 16. Let's get the coefficient of restitution. 
same as in parts one and parts two. So now we have the second coefficient of restitution when the height is h over 16, it's a quarter. And if we use the same relationship we had previously, which is the ratio of the coefficients of restitution is proportional to the thickness of the paper. So we have this thing here, that was, the, uh, that was for part two. The k value we know is 0.6, but the thickness is not 2.5, the thickness we're going to call x and solve for x. So I get the original coefficient of restitution without the piece of paper was a half. The constant was 0.6 multiplied by the thickness and multiplied by the coefficient of restitution for the 16th of the height of the fall. X then works out as 3.33.